for five years, Brisbane, the capital of Queensland in Australia, has been a host for one of the first stops on the WTA of the season. Unsurprisingly, the event always draws in big crowds and being a crucial warm-up for the Australian Open also attracts the biggest stars on the WTA. And the two left in the draw on Saturday were as good as it gets. World number one, Serena Williams and world number two, Victoria Azarenka. Their developing rivalry is perhaps the most exciting on the WTA. Despite Williams leading the overall head-to-head 13-3, they tied at two apiece in their meetings in 2013, all of which came in finals. So as Serena versus Vika part 17 got underway, it was hard to predict who would come out on top in what's likely to be one of many clashes between the pair in 2014. Williams's last defeat came to Azarenka in the final of Cincinnati in August, but it didn't look like a repeat of that would be on the cards early on. Yeah, I like to see this a lot from Williams, how she comes into the net. That's a very clear tactic from her. The American who beat Azarenka to win her 17th Grand Slam title at the US Open in September got the first break to move 4-3 ahead. Yeah, Williams. And the 32-year-old played a stunning game at 5-4. going on to close out the opener in style. Well, wow, what a strong game. And I was curious about the serving. <laughs> well, you got your answer, Maria. Oh, yeah, I did. It looked like it was going to be over in a flash for Azarenka at the start of the second, as Williams powered her way to a two-love lead. Again, Williams. There it is. Williams grabs a break straight away. She was on the verge of securing a double break too, but it was then that Azarenka found some inspiration. Oh, wonderful what, stuff. What a way to open up the court. The Belarusian would reel off three games in a row to put herself into a commanding position in the set. From then on, luck also seemed to be on her side. Momentum turned in her favour and the 24-year-old, who also defeated Williams in the Doha final in 2013, broke for a 4-2 lead. Yeah, there it is. Azarenka throwing down the gauntlet in this second set. The match seemed destined to head for a decider, just like three of their four final meetings did last year. But Williams had other ideas. Yeah, well played yeah. from both of them. She's so strong here, Serena. After breaking at 5 all, she had the chance to serve for the match, and she wasn't going to waste it. Yes. The a massive yes. serve. Azarenka yes. has yes. done yes. what she could on the day. But the prize goes to Serena Williams once again. That serve sealing Williams a 58th WTA title and a 14th career win over Azarenka. Thank you guys. I would like to thank Jehovah God for allowing me to be healthy this year and to be out here today. Um, congratulations to Vika for being a great player, great champion, and just someone that I enjoy playing and I just love to see around. So congrats and again, I hope we do play in Melbourne because that means we would be going farthest. Brisbane's such a wonderful city to come to. It's the reason why I've been here three years in a row because it, it just brings joy for me to be here every day. Victory in Brisbane also means that Williams is the front runner in the road to Singapore standings, and few would bet against her reaching another year end championships in 2014. While Williams and Azarenka are scheduled to rest now ahead of the Australian Open, the WTA heads to Sydney for the next big tournament. World number no. seven Sara Arani and 11th ranked Simona Halep are among those in opening day action on Sunday.